Unless otherwise stated, all scripture quotations are taken from the King James Version of the Bible. Ghana Charismatic Bishops Conference, 7th October 2024 We The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray earnestly for Ghana to be a God-fearing nation. We pray that Ghana will be a nation of people who love and fear God. May sin, deceptions, wickedness, robbery, murder, injustice and perversions not flourish nor thrive in Ghana forever. Psalm 111 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. We, the Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference, pray for the lasting prosperity of Ghana. May our nation be delivered from diminishing returns, economic activities that destroy the pastures, destroy the farmlands, destroy the forests, destroy the rivers and destroy the environment. May our nation be delivered from having only diminishing returns, activities that degrade our lands, deplete our fish populations, that empty our mines, and that finish our oil reserves. May Ghana become a nation busy with newer, increasing returns, economic activities that stem from innovations, technological changes, manufacturing, service, and synergies. The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference does pray that Ghana will be a nation of beautiful cities and towns with tarred and concrete roads. We pray for Ghana that every single town and city will be beautifully paved with asphalt or concrete so that all dust and dirt paths and dirt lanes will be removed from all our towns and cities. We. The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray for a basic connection between our biggest cities and regional capitals with safe highways of at least three lanes on either side. O oh God, please make Ghana a nation of beautiful, safe intercity highways. May serious road traffic accidents that kill thousands of people every year become a thing of the past. We. The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray for Ghana to become a great tourist destination. We pray for Ghana to make strategic use of the iconic Elmina Castle, Cape Coast Castle, and the Christianburg Castle, the likes of which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. O God, may we attract important visitors and tourists from the world to visit Elmina, Cape Coast, and Accra. May our nation receive a great boost in tourism. We. The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray earnestly for Ghana to be a safe nation to live in. May armed robbery and murder become a thing of the past. Let Ghana not lose her reputation of being a very peaceful and very safe nation. May the security service be equipped and trained and multiplied so that they have the upper hand in the fight against nationwide crime. O Lord, grant us peace and security. We... The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray for Ghana to become a great destination for higher education. O Lord, make Ghana attractive for thousands of foreign and international students seeking higher education. Let our great universities become even greater and more attractive. We pray that our universities will have great reputation, great attraction and a great capacity and excellence. We. The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray for Ghana to have a modern, larger, stronger and properly equipped military. Every great nation has a great military. O Lord, may our military, as a special disciplined force, be a great force for good in the nation, for stability, for internal security, for construction and in the education of the nation. We... The Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference pray for Ghana to accept and to integrate dual citizens and Ghanaians in the diaspora into the nation. O oh God, may we attract the Ghanaians abroad to help and contribute to our nation without driving them away. Ghana earns more from inflows from Ghanaians abroad than from both cocoa and oil combined. May dual citizens and all other Ghanaians abroad be encouraged eager and happy to come back home, either to visit or to stay. O God, Ghana's inflow from remittances is higher compared to cocoa, oil and even gold. 
The nation generated $28.6 billion from remittances over a 10-year period as compared to $18.7 billion from cocoa and $7.6 billion from gold. Source, Statista.com O oh God, bless the work of the hands of Ghanaians in the diaspora and at home. Let the remittance inflows you are blessing us with continue to grow and revive our cocoa and gold forex inflows. Finally, the Ghana Charismatic Bishops' Conference prays for Ghana to have a peaceful election in 2024. We pray that the whole nation will peacefully accept and agree with the outcome of the upcoming elections and be a shining example of peaceful democracy to all other nations. O oh God, may Ghana a great and peaceful and a famously democratic nation. The Charismatic Bishops' Conference is committed to praying for the peace and prosperity of Ghana according to the scriptures. May God bless Ghana forevermore. 1 Timothy 2, 1-3 Easy Read Version First of all, I ask that you pray for all people. Ask God to bless them and give them what they need, and give thanks. You should pray for rulers and for all that have authority. Pray for these leaders so that we can live quiet and peaceful lives, lives full of devotion to God and respect for Him. This is good and pleases God our Saviour. We hope you have enjoyed this inspiration in your ears. To explore additional titles, please visit www.speakthewordaudio.com.